Hi all, welcome back to another session of Volcom Tutor. In this session, I am discussing about the structural determinations of different class of borates as well as carburates by Bates rule. So in the last session, I have discussed different classifications of boranes and carburanes based on the general formula. So boranes are classified or carburanes are classified into five types that is closo, nido, arecano and hypo and cladro. So boranes that is closo boranes have general formula Bn HN2 minus and nido have general formula Bn HN4 minus and Arachno have general formula Bn HN6 minus and Hypo is having general formula Bn HN8 minus and Clado is having the general formula Bn HN8 10 minus. So based on this general formula we have divided these borings. In this session I am discussing the Bates rule which is useful in finding the number of skeletal electrons or framework electron present in these borings or carburates. So coming to the Bates rule, there are certain rules in the weight structural determinations of boranes as well as the carburanes. So when we are taking a borane or carburane, we are arranging in terms of CH as well as the BH unit. So each BH unit in the borane or carburane contribute two electrons for the skeletal structure or the framework of the boranes as well as the carburanes. Similarly, if there is a CH unit in the carburane, it contributes three electrons for the skeletal structure or the framework of the borates as well as the carburates. Similarly, if there is a negative charge in the borane or carburane, it contributes one electron for the skeletal structure or the framework of the borates as well as the carburate. Similarly, we are arranging the each borate as well as the carburate in terms of CH and BH unit. So additional hydrogen atom we are keeping outside. So each additional hydrogen them contribute one electron for the skeletal structure or framework of the borates as well as the carburants. So after finding the skeletal electron in the borates or carburant by using these weights rule, if our skeletal electron obtained is in the form of an n plus 1, where n represents the number of boron atom in the borate or n represents the number of boron and carbon atom present in the carburant. And if the skeletal electron obtained is in the form of an n plus 1, it is termed as closo. And if it is in the form of an n plus 2 means it is nido. And if it is in the form of n plus 3, it is arachno. And if it is in the form of n plus 4, it is hypo. And n plus 5 means it is claro. So let us discuss in detail these rules by taking an example of B6, H6, 2 minus. So this is a question came in the competitive exam that is CSIR that is assign the structure of B6H62 minus by Wade's rule. So first of all B6H62 minus we have to assign in terms of BH unit. So here B6H62 minus can be written as BH whole 62 minus. So according to the Wade's rule we can find the number of skeletal electron as each BH unit contribute two electrons to the skeletal structure or the framework of boranes or carburanes. So here there are 6 BH unit and each contribute 2 electrons. So 6 into 2. Again there are 2 negative charge. Each negative charge contribute 1 electron to the skeletal structure or the framework of boranes. So here 2 electron means adding up of 2. So number of skeletal electrons will be equal to 2 into 6 plus 2 that will be equal to 40. So we have got the number of skeletal electrons. So if we want to find the number of skeletal electron pair, we have to divide this number of skeletal electrons by 2. So it will be equal to 7. And here the number of boron, boron present in this boron is 6. That is n is equal to 6. So on adding 1 to this 6, we are getting the skeletal electron pair that is 7. So it is in the form of n plus 1. So n plus 1 is a condition for the closure in the weights rule. So B6H6 to minus contribute a closer type structure by weights. So let us move to the second question. That is here it is a carburet that is assigned the structure of C2B10H12 by weights rule. So here 
C to B10 S12 can be arranged in terms of CH unit and the BH unit. So we can as arrange as CH whole twice and BH whole twice. That means altogether it will be C to B10 H12. There will be no additional hydrogen atom. So ECS unit to find the number of skeletal electron, ECS unit contribute three electron and ECS unit contribute two electron to the skeletal structure or the framework of the borings and carbonyls. So the number of skeletal electrons will be equal to two into three plus ten into two. So altogether it will be equal to twenty six. That is the number of skeletal electrons. So in order to find the pair, we are dividing by two. So twenty six divided by two that will be equal to thirty. So here n, when we are representing the n, n is the total number of boron and carbon at the present in that boron. That will be equal to two plus ten. That is twelve. So on adding one to this twelve, we are getting the skeletal electron pair that is thirty. So again, it is in the form of n plus one. So n plus one is a conditions of a closure. So C two B ten S twelve also form a closure type carbon structure. So next question is to find the structure of B two H six that is diborane by Wade's rule. So B two H six that is diborane can be arranged in terms of B S unit as that is B S whole twice again there will be additional four hydrogen atom which will be kept outside. So it can be arranged as B H whole twice H four. Again, to find the number of skeletal electron, each BS unit contribute two electron, and each additional hydrogen atom contribute one electron to the skeletal structure or framework of borings or carbonyls. So here, number of skeletal electrons will be equal to two into two plus again four hydrogen atom. Therefore, it will be adding four. So total will be equal to eight. So after getting the number of skeletal electron, we have to pair it. By dividing by two, so it will be that is eight by two that is equal to four. So here the number of boron atom is two. So on adding two to this two, we are getting the skeletal electron pair that is four. So it is in the form of an n plus two type. N plus two type represents the nido by Wade's rule. So B two S six contribute a nido type cluster. So next question is a competitive exam question came in CSIR that is December two thousand sixteen. The question is number of skeletal electron in C two B three H five, comma C two B four H six and B five H nine are. Options are given. That is A option is ten, twelve, twelve, and B option is twelve, fourteen, fourteen, and C option is ten, twelve, fourteen, and D option is twelve, fourteen, and twelve. So let us move the answer. That is first. Option we can that is first car carburetor we can take that is C two B three H five. So it can be arranged in terms of C H and B H unit as C H whole twice and B H whole twice. So here C H contribute three electron and B H contribute two electron by Wade's rule. So it will be number of skeletal electrons we are asking. So the number of skeletal electrons will be equal to two into three plus three into So total will be equal to twelve electron. So number of skeletal electron in C two B three H five is equal to twelve. Similarly, second that is C two B four H six. It can be arranged in terms of C H and B H unit as C H whole twice and B H whole four. So by Wade's rule, we can find the number of skeletal electron as two into three plus four into two. So it will be equal to forty. That is. Six plus eight that will be equal to four. So next option that is B five H nine. So that is B five H nine can be arranged in terms of B S unit as B S whole five and there will be additional hydrogen atom that is four additional hydrogen atom will be there. It is kept outside. So B S whole five H four. And again, each B S unit contribute two electron. So number of skeletal electrons will be equal to ten plus four that will be equal to forty. So the first it is getting twelve and second it is fourteen and third also fourteen. So option will be twelve, fourteen, fourteen. That is B option is correct. So next question is also a competitive exam question. That is uh, structure of B five H eight na minus is. That is options are given. That is A is closure, B is nido, and C is arachno, and the last option is hypo. 
So again, B5, H8 minus can be written in the form of a BH unit as BH whole 5 and H, there will be 3 hydrogen atom that is kept outside. So BH whole 5 is 3, again one negative charge will be there. So according to V's rule, each BH unit contribute 2 electrons. So here there are 5 BH unit, so 2 into 5 plus again each additional hydrogen atom contribute 1 electron, so plus 3. Again, negative charge contribute 1 electron. Here, 1 negative charge is that plus 1. So, the number of skeletal electrons will be equal to, that is 10 plus 3 plus 1. That will be equal to 14. So, skeletal electron pair will be dividing by 2. That is 14 by 2. That will be equal to 7. And here, the number of boron atom is 5. So, on adding 2 to this 5, we are getting 7. So, it is in the form of an N plus 2. So, N plus 2 is a condition of a Nido cluster type. So, B5 is a minus contribute a Nido type cluster that is option B is correct. So, coming to the last question that is according to Wade's rule, the anion C2B9H12 adopt options are given as Closo A, B option Nido and C option is Aracuno and last option is Hypo. Again, it is a carborine that is C2B9H12 minus. It can be assigned in the terms of CS unit and BS unit as CS hole twice and BS hole 9. Again, there will be additional one hydrogen atom, so it will be kept outside. So, H minus. So, it can be written as CS hole twice, BS hole 9, H minus. Again, according to weight, so number of skeletal electron we can find out out as that is 2 into 3 because each CS unit contribute 3 electron. And 9 BS unit are there. Each BS unit contribute 2 electron that is 9 into 2 plus 1 hydrogen atom addition. So plus 1 and again 1 negative charge is there. So additional 1. So number of skeletal electron will be equal to 2 into 3 plus 9 into 2 plus 1 plus 1. So total it will be equal to 26. So number of skeletal electron pair will be equal to 26 divided by 2 that will be equal to 30. Here the total number of boron atom and carbon atom present in this borate is 9 plus 2 that is equal to 11. So on adding 2 to this 11 we are getting 30. So it is a type of an N plus 2. So N plus 2 is a condition of again Nido in the weight zone. So C to B9 H12 minus form a Nido type cluster. So option B is correct. So in the next section, I will be discussing the structural determinations of different type of a metal cluster by weights Minkos rule. So it is very important for different competitive exam. So hope you like this session. Stay tuned for the next session. Till then, bye.